Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, today, um, it's an absolute pleasure for me to do this review. Um, I spotted this on the uh, uh, distro watch that uh, Q4OS had, had uh, come out with an update. And since I hadn't tried it before, I, I thought I would download it. I downloaded the live version so I could test it out before I install it. And then um, this is the end result. I did go ahead and install it to a hard drive. Um, the install went flawlessly without any problems whatsoever. The um, distribution runs the Trinity desktop, which from my understanding is equal to the KDE3. Uh, I am not 100% familiar with KDE, only used it a few times in a, on a limited um, trial basis. And so I'm not 100% sure what, uh, you know, what the configuration is. However, this out of the box configuration um, kind of looks like a start menu on Windows. Now, as you can see, I installed Voco Screen, and it's it's already listed in my in my menu. Now, uh, let me go back to the beginning. When you first download, you you have the option of downloading the uh, CD image or the live. I went with the live so I could test it out before I installed it. Then when you uh, install it, the, your first time you boot up, it's gonna ask you whether you want the full desktop, uh, a minimal install, or the bare bones. And I went with the full install um, because it basically installs everything you need for you. and You don't have to deal with it. Now one of the things that you can see is it looks very much like Windows. Uh, you would swear you're running an older version of Windows. If you click on the uh, file manager, as you can see, very reminiscent of an older Windows desktop. Um, that applies also to the menu if you, you have a control panel um, where you have appearance and themes, desktop, internet, network, peripherals, <clears throat> sound and multimedia. You've got your sound system. Uh, everything is reminiscent of an earlier version of Windows. You've got LibreOffice, Google Chrome. I installed Gparted. Thunderbird is there out of the box. VLC, Synaptic. Now, they. Let me go to the welcome screen because that'll be. <clears throat> that'll uh, give us a lot more information. The welcome screen gives you the option to change your profile. So if I click on desktop profiler, you can see that there's the full featured, the basic with common utilities, system tools and libraries, and then basically the bare bones where you build it yourself from the ground up. You have the operating system, but anything else is set up by you. Now I went with the full featured, so that's what I'm going to stay on. Um, I did set up auto login. Uh, you just click on it. Do you want to enable automatic login? You enter your password. Okay. Uh, proprietary codecs, I've already gone through and installed. But as you can see, it's got the setup wizard. And it's telling me they're already installed. So I will cancel out. Um, for applications, uh, basically it opens up a software center that has a list of the most commonly installed um, applications. So you can install Bluetooth Manager and uh, Gparted, I installed it from here, Google Picasa, uh, let's see, you've got uh, Network Manager, you've got Wine, uh, Google Chrome, Synaptic. So I've already installed a few of these and it works out very nicely. Now if you want Synaptic, you just click on Package Manager and there you go. You have Synaptic and where everything is available. Um, now this is based upon Je Jesse, Debbie and Jesse Stable. So anything that's available within De Debbie and Jesse uh, is available here. Now if you look at your repositories, You've got main, contrib, and non-free. So that gives you the ability to install um, a lot of the uh, non-free packages, codecs, drivers. 
Um, I went ahead <clears throat> with just a couple of, I went into the um, console, the, the command line, because when I took a look at the control panel and I went into uh, peripherals, and let's see, device manager. As you can see, this looks very much like the Windows, the old Windows device manager. When I came down to the um, graphics processor, um, it had my NVIDIA card listed, so it recognized it out of the box, but the uh, driver and NVIDIA settings was not installed. So um, I installed it through the command line and let's see. I'm going to find that uh, NVIDIA. Okay, so now I have the NVIDIA 340, which is the latest dri NVIDIA driver that's available through Debian Stable, which is perfectly fine. Um, if I wanted to, I could uh, tweak a few things and, and get up to the 352 or the 355. But for this for purposes here, 340 is absolutely fantastic, no problem at all. So it uh, it configured with just a couple of uh, commands. I entered um, and I installed NV Nvidia settings, Nvidia uh, X config, and then I ran after the install. I ran the Nvidia X config command and then rebooted, and everything was fine. Okay, so auto login, proprietary codecs, we talked about applications. Now, the desktop effects, uh, I already uh, configured desktop effects. Uh, you can turn it on or turn it off from the welcome screen. Desktop profiler, we talked about now. We can, now, this the default menu is a simple start menu very very nice everything is self-explanatory this is a perfect uh, distribution for anyone who's making the move to Windows um, from Windows to Linux because as you can see they would be extremely comfortable in this environment it's got everything that they need to operate their computer on a daily basis and there's enough of a visual uh, comfort level that they would transition rather easily. And so if you have any relatives who are thinking of making the switch or friends this would be a terrific desktop to install on their computer. Now this is a desktop that runs terrific on older equipment and that's one of the features with Q4OS uh, is that they um, they state that it's perfect for older hardware so I can, this is an absolutely fantastic distribution as I said I installed it to my hard drive I'm going to keep it installed and I'm going to use it as much as I can uh, just to get a feel for the stability but right now everything looks fine um, it looks stable now one of the things I noticed when I went to the kickoff uh, menu is it takes a minute or two let's see now that was before I installed my Nvidia driver let's see how it is now switch to kickoff yeah it just takes a minute for it to pop up There it is. So it just takes a minute for it to configure the menu. And as you can see, this is a whole different look. You've got new applications. You can see NVIDIA is listed there. And then programs broken down by category. In most cases, there's your games. 
So this uh, would be fine. If you're looking for a little bit more bells and whistles on the menu, this would be fine. Programs, accessories, and then you've got categories here, settings, there's the NVIDIA. So if you're looking for a little more, a few more bells and whistles on your menu, it's got the uh, kickoff menu, but if you prefer to have the classic, you can revert to the classic and it'll take a minute for, to revert back and then you'll be back in the classic menu which I think is what most people would prefer if they were coming from Windows and there's the classic menu that's back so as you can see everything and they have a, a setup a, a wizard a, a database wizard for so there are wizards for LibreOffice which uh, will help a new user get uh, get acclimated making the move from a win a Microsoft Office over to LibreOffice so that is Q4OS guys as you can see it's a really nice distribution um, I really can't find fault with it. It's based on a solid foundation of De Debbie and Jesse Stable. And so um, really, what, what more could you ask for? As I said, if, if, you, oh, if you have someone who's making the move from Windows, this, is, this would be perfect. So guys, this distribution really gets my highest rating. It knows what it wants to be and it doesn't try to be anything else. They are trying to appeal to the business user and to the desktop user who wants, especially a business user who wants their people to be able to transition to Windows, uh, to, I'm sorry, away from Windows to Linux, but yet feel comfortable in the new desktop. And I, I believe they achieve their goal uh, in spades this is a fantastic distribution so this is q4 os you can download it from their website you can click on the link at distro watch the new updated version is out now um, it looks like everything works fine i highly recommend it if you look and you know it made the debian install very very easy so guys this is a terrific distribution um, I highly recommend that you give it a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Two big thumbs up, Q4OS. Guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you soon. Take care.